What's up guys? Welcome back to Android app development tutorial by SmartHerd. This is one and only Shrakes. Now in the next 4 or 5 videos I will continue my discussion on implicit intents. Now first of all we will check out how you can open a website URL using your own application. So let's proceed. So here inside the Eclipse I have created a project implicit intents examples. Fine. This is our main activity. Now here we are having our XML layout like this. I am having 4 or 5 buttons or you can say 6 buttons. Show website, show map location, send email, blah blah blah. All these buttons will perform a specific action. Fine. Now let's check his codes. Now here in each button I have assigned an ID. Show website, show map location, send email and like this and so on. And on click of each button, do something method will be executed, which is present inside our main activity right in front of you. Do something. Here is a parameter view v, and I have differentiated each button by using its IDs. I'm having six cases, and maybe later I will add few more cases. Fine now. Now first of all, let's add the functionality to show website button. Fine now. Let us create an intent. intent space intent equal to new intent now inside the intent we have to provide the action type what we want to perform using this intent so for that we have to provide intent dot action view fine now this is the implicit intent type which will open the applications which can view our website fine now after that we have to set the data to our intent which website we want to open fine so let's type intent dot set data now inside it we have to use uri dot parse fine now it requires the url which we want to open so let's give the url let's write http colon forward slash forward slash www dot google dot com fine so so when you are making any application then you can simply use an edit text and make user to input the website name and likewise use these intent to open this website fine now after that we have to start our activity start activity intent fine now guys maybe in some android device the web browser is not available till now these codes are not stable what I'm talking about I will just tell you now let's save our application and run it now here I am going to run this application in my Samsung phone so let's run it and I'm going to view my Android device right in front of you this is my present Android device I have installed Droid at the rate screen software now how to install this software please check out my Android miscellaneous tutorials you will find how to install the software and view your smartphone inside your PC. Fine. So here our app is running. Now let's click on show website button. Now as soon as I click on that button. Now here you can see complete action using. It is asking which browser you want to use. Now if we select Chrome browser. Then after that hit on just once. Yeah our codes are working perfectly fine it is going to open www.google.com fine as expected now guys let's go back now here when we clicked on the show website button it shows a dialog box complete action using now suppose if none of the browser is available in your smartphone then your program will probably crash so we have to handle that exception now how to do it let's do it now here we just have to add a statement if intent dot resolve activity now inside the resolve activity method we have to use this get package manager fine now we have to check this is null or not fine so so if there is at least one of the application that support this kind of intent then execute this statement fine otherwise do not execute this statement so it will prevent your application from crashing so let's 
fine so our codes are complete now let's run our application so let's click on show website button now here again it is asking complete action using now this is the dialog box which you can customize now there are actually three applications in my smartphone that's why it is asking which application you want to use to complete this action fine so if I select any of this browser then it is going to open the google.com now if you want to customize this dialog box then what you have to do we have to add a chooser now what is the chooser I will just tell you intent space I have created an intent and this chooser is actually an object name of intent class fine so equal to intent dot create chooser now inside it we have to give this intent and title let's give the title for our dialog box let's use open website using dot 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 fine like this now this chooser we have to use here instead of intent we have to write chooser so let me do one thing guys let us create a global variable here intent equal to null then chooser equal to null fine so let's not initialize it here again here also remove it so I have created this intent outside the switch case statement so that we can use this variable intent and this intent chooser in all the buttons fine so what we are doing here actually first we have created the intent and assigned it the implicit intent action type fine action view we are then setting the URL in our intent this is our URL we are parsing it and setting it into our intent fine now this chooser is actually customizing our dialog box open website using fine and the intent is this one intent fine now after that if this intent action this intent action is not supported by any of the application of your of the users smartphone then do not execute this if at least one application is available then please execute this statement start activity chooser now chooser is what chooser is actually having the intent and with a custom dialog box right here now let's run our application now guys one thing I would like to tell you the coding in Android is bit easy but to make a stable application is much more crucial for the application development point of view so make your application so that it will sustain in the worst scenario your application must not crash in any of the Android device fine now let's click on show website yeah so a custom dialog box appears in front of you open website using fine now guys this is not actually a custom dialog box it is just a custom title appearing in the dialog box fine the custom dialog box I will teach you later on in detail so let's click on this time internet browser so finally it is opening our google.com right in front of us fine so here we go google.com in front of us so hope you guys know how to create a stable implicit intent to open a website fine so this is all for this video guys catch you guys in the next video this is Shrek from smart Herd signing off and please guys if possible write reviews and rate our tutorials fine so thanks for watching have a good day thank you